Prince Philip gives orders when presents can be opened and enforces a rule that they should be cheap joke gifts. Some of the funny gifts the royals have given each other over the years are rumored to have included a ain't life a bee bath hat given to the queen by Harry, a grow your own girlfriend kit given to Harry by Kate, and a white leather toilet seat given by Princess Anne to Prince Charles. Jess Ilse, royal expert at Royal Central, believes Prince Philip gets to decide when the royals can open their presents, as he is the patriarch of the family. She said to express.co.uk, the presents are all laid out on a table in the drawing room at Sandringham, and they're instructed on where to put presents for each person, with Prince Philip giving the go-ahead on when to open them. I believe it's around tea time. Christmas Day it's church, dinner, and watching the Queen's Christmas speech in the afternoon. When the family is all together on Christmas Eve day, the grandkids and great-grandkids help decorate the Christmas tree. What other Christmas traditions do the royals follow? The Queen gives a gift to everyone in the royal household, despite having more than 500 members of staff. She even asks them what they want for a present as early as March, with junior staff having an allowance of £25, which increases to a maximum of £35 every year. The official website for the royal family says giving Christmas puddings to staff members is also a tradition. Both King George VI and King George V used to do the same when they ruled. Queen Elizabeth reportedly used to buy 1,500 puddings from Harrods and Fortnum and Mason, which has been the royal grocer for more than 150 years. But over the past few years she has switched to Tesco. The Queen and Prince Philip give each of their employees one of the supermarket's finest matured Christmas puddings, according to the Mirror. The royal website said about 1,500 Christmas puddings paid for by the Queen through the Privy Purse are distributed to staff throughout the palaces, staff in the court post office and palace police. Each pudding is accompanied by a greeting card from the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. Every year, Princes William and Harry also play a Christmas Eve football match with workers from the Sandringham estate. The royal family then sit down at exactly 6 p.m. in the red drawing room at Sandringham on Christmas Eve to open their presents. Christmas dinner is served from 1.15 p.m. with a starter of salad with shrimp or lobster. This is followed by roasted turkey with timing such as parsnips, Brussels sprouts and carrots, then Christmas pudding with brandy butter for dessert. The senior chef goes into the dining room, which is only allowed at Christmas, and carves the rib roast of turkey. The queen then gives him with a glass of whiskey, and everyone toasts him before they tuck in.